Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering Mythic Artifacts, or at least the very basics of it. So, what is Mythic Artifacts? Well, Mythic Artifacts allows you to add skills to your items. That's right, before you could only have mobs using it, but now you can also have players using it, so long as you have the plugin. But, that's, you know, obvious. So, how are we going to do that? Well, let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. I will show you guys my files and we will get started. So, first off, you're going to want to make your item um, item. So as you can see here, I have a basic wooden sword, ID wooden sword, uh, called flame sword. Now, of course, your typical item would have like uh, lore, enchantments, attributes, possibly, etc. But I just wanted to keep it simple and straightforward so that way you guys can see. All it is is just a normal item. But at the very end, we added a skills thing, just like we would on our normal mobs. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and re-enable our first skill that we have disabled here. Now what is this? This is the velocity mechanic. This is going to send him flying up pretty fast in the air whenever we right click our weapon. Now, with mythic artifacts, there are several new triggers I recommend looking at. Um, there's not a whole awful lot, but there are some new ones that are worth noting. One of which is called Unuse. Unuse means whenever you right click while holding your item. Um, one thing to keep in mind, these items do always have to be in your hand in order to be used, unless you have armor, in which case I believe should still activate so long as you're wearing it. Could be wrong, haven't tested it, but as far as normal items such as swords and stuff go, you have to be holding the item for it to uh, for it to work. Now the target, <clears throat> let's talk about that. The target is going to be what is within our cursor or hotbar. Wow, I just said both the wrong words. Whatever is going to be within our crosshair. So let's go ahead and spawn in a, a dummy. New dummy. Okay, there's our dummy and let's get our item. Flame sword. I think I forgot to reload, so we're just gonna go and reload here. Okay, so one thing we looked at uh, velocity at target, so wherever our crosshair is on use, whenever we right click. So let's go ahead and see that in action. And there he goes. Check it out. Jumping for joy. Very painfully jumping for joy. But whenever I right click, he goes flying in the air. Next up, we're going to look at the next skill. <clears throat> Prison, material equals obsidian duration of 60 at target on attack. Now, with this one, when you use on attack, um, it will always be, the, your target will always be whatever you are hitting. It's not like on use where they have to be within your crosshair, although, it, I mean, it kind of is, because how else are you going to hit them? Anyway, um... Basically, whatever you hit is going to be considered your target, so long as it is a player or animal or mob. It does not work on blocks. I'm sorry. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see how that one works. Reload. Pull out our sword. And whack. He is suddenly encased in obsidian for three seconds. Whack. There we go again. And as you can see, it's doing its job very nice, very nicely. So, next up, we're going to look at a meta skill. If you are familiar with meta skills, all it is is adding a skill to your skills section that calls on a skill with a very specific name that you add. Now we're going to talk about a couple different things here. <clears throat> First off, we're going back to our crosshair targeting because we are using on swing, which means on left click. So, whenever we left click with our flame sword, it's going to use the flame ball at whatever our crosshair is within. Now, since it's a meta skill, you know there's going to be different things involved with it. So, let's go ahead and look at this. Actually, let's go ahead and test it out first. Let me heal him up here. Okay, so, as you can see, I'm pretty far away. I'm not close enough to actually deal damage with the sword itself. However, whenever I swing, it's engulfing him in a ball of flame while giving him damage. If I were to hit him, it would still work. But you could do it from however far away you want. 
uh, as long as you don't specify anyway. Let's talk about that. So, like all meta skills, you can add conditions to it too. So if I were to add like, I don't know, say target within D equals seven true, <clears throat> it would only be able to hit him so long as he's within a distance of seven. So let's test this. I'm way out here. It's still working. I probably did something wrong, but that's okay. Anyway, so the other condition we have set here is called sunny. Now, let's, uh, let's, let's look at that. So I'm gonna set the weather to rain. As you can see, it's raining now. I'm left clicking with my sword, but nothing's happening. My skill is not activating because the weather is not sunny like we have specified in the condition here. Now you can do stormy too. Um, there's so many other conditions you can do. The only ones that you cannot do the only one you cannot do, actually, is called stances. I'm sure many of you might be familiar with my stances tutorial. Well, the only reason this one won't work is because players cannot have stances. But since it's sunny again, as you can see, my sword is now working the way it uh, intended. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back. Lastly is a projectile skill. Okay, so... The big deal with this one is I have it set to at target location and we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna delete that for a moment. Here we have it set to at target on use. Now basically this means it's always going to fire at whatever entity is within the crosshairs. As you can see, it's firing at the target, but if I click out anywhere else, nothing happens. It'll work if I click at him, but if I click anywhere else, nothing will shoot out of my sword. Now why is that? Well. That's because whenever you um, you have at target, it is looking for an entity that you are looking at to be considered the target. Now, what if I want free range projectiles that I can shoot wherever I want? Well, that's the easy solution here. All you have to do is add the word location and you are good to go. As you can see, now I'm right clicking and I can shoot the projectiles wherever I want. They are no longer restricted to looking at an entity of some sort. They go wherever your cursor is. One thing to keep in mind too, they shoot just to the bottom of your uh, crosshair there, as you can see. So no matter where you're looking, it'll always shoot just under. That's something to keep in mind because the targeting is a little, it's a little interesting. I think if you switch your target or if you switch your starting Y offset, I think it might make a difference. I don't know, let me go and see this in F5 mode. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's coming out of the sword naturally, but uh, it's always going to shoot a little low. So you could always change your target Y offset too in order to combat this. However, if you're shooting at long distances, uh, I actually don't recommend changing it at all because otherwise it's going to shoot upward rather than outward. But that's basically the gist of Mythic Artifacts, ladies and gentlemen. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, and it inspired you make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see what you come up with in the future